In this video session, you are going to learn the basic concepts that will allow you to import correctly 3D projects in PDF documents. What we want to achieve is a natural and smooth visualization in the 3D view dialog box of 3D PDF Maker and then in your PDF document. For example, from this assembly of a robot, we would like to get a PDF file with the robot rotating naturally around the z-axis in Adobe Reader and that the 3D PDF Maker 3D View dialog box would offer the model views in correspondence with those present in the project, allowing an easy positioning of the model with its natural rotation around the axis. In Adobe Reader there are two buttons for 3D model rotation. The Rotate button, which allows rotation relative to the screen, and the Spin button for rotation in parallel to two fixed axes in the 3D model, the X-axis and the Z-axis. The rotation relative to the screen allows to turn 3D objects around in any direction you want and in parallel to any axis. The way how objects will move and rotate depends on the initial view, on the point where you start dragging, and on the relative direction. However, for some models, the rotation in parallel to the z-axis is the most natural as it suits best for their type of model. From this example, we can see that the correct import of a model offers the natural rotation around the z-axis. If the model is not imported correctly, then the rotation around the axis won't be satisfactory and you will have to make use of the rotation relative to the screen. The situation is the same with the 3D view dialog in 3D PDF Maker. When the model is not correctly imported, it will be hard to set the view you want. 3D PDF Maker offers an optimization procedure that allows you to import a model in the best possible way, regardless the orientation of a model and the axis in CAD. Let's see how it works. Open the PDF file Tutorial 3.0 and zoom it properly with the relative button or the mouse scroll wheel. Click on Settings and in the tab General Settings uncheck the option Show the dialog box correct orientation that is normally checked by default in some of the 3D PDF Maker versions. In default 3D settings, in View Settings, for the lighting scheme select Cube Lights and confirm with OK. Press Add 3D to select the first area on the left, as indicated here, where to insert the 3D model. Click on Convert from File and in the 3D PDF Maker Tutorial folder select the file Fume Hood U3D. The 3D View dialog opens. Pressing the button with a green check mark in the left upper corner, you import the model in the PDF file. Again, press Add 3D and starting from the top right corner, select the second area, as indicated here, where you are going to insert the same 3D model. Then click on Convert from File and once again select the file fumehood.u3d. The 3D View dialog opens. Enable manually the optimization procedure by clicking the 3D View button. Press the Rotate button a few times until you can see the 3D model correctly, as it's indicated here, and then press the Confirm button. Click on the Front View button as it is indicated. Save it by clicking the button with the green check mark in the upper left corner. The 3D model has been imported in the PDF file. Click on Show Preview with Adobe Reader. The PDF file is opened in Adobe Reader. Compare the rotation around the axis. The model on the right spins correctly in the natural and smooth way. while the one on the left requires to use repeatedly the button Rotate that is of rotation relative to the screen. This procedure allows you to set the z-axis of a 3D model in the PDF file regardless of how the project was created in the CAD program. 
Now quit Adobe Reader, go back to 3D PDF Maker and close the PDF file by clicking on the red cross in the top right hand corner without saving the file. For your hands on training, open the file Tutorial 3.1, press Add 3D and click on Convert from File to import the file robot.u3d. Perform the optimization procedure, import the robot in the PDF file and check your completed work by clicking on Show Preview with Adobe Reader. Before exiting Adobe Reader, you can save the PDF you have created in the My 3D PDF folder, giving a name to the file. Now quit Adobe Reader, go back to 3D PDF Maker and close the PDF file by clicking on the red cross in the top right hand corner without saving the file. Click on Settings, the tab Default 3D Settings and in the section View Settings for Lighting Scheme select CAD Optimized Lights. If in your version of 3D PDF Maker the option Show the dialog box Correct Orientation was checked by default, then re-enable it. If this option was not enabled, then it's because the models are basically oriented correctly in your CAD program connected to your version of 3D PDF Maker. Anyway, you may decide if to enable this procedure by default or manually when it's necessary. The 3D model in the PDF file will always rotate the way you want. At the end of this video session, close the tutorial dialog window. You will be able to access tutorials whenever you want by clicking on the Tutorial button in the menu or on the Open Tutorial panel.